Hello, my name is Dean Baldwin and welcome back to the Viking Sports Channel. And before we get to this new shut helmet, we're gonna do an unboxing of a company that is called the Original Craft Beer Club. My wife got me a subscription for this for Christmas and what they do is they send you a, a box of beer through the mail once a month. So let's get started. <laughs> Open this bad boy up, see what it looks like. Right. So inside, we got like a little newsletter. And so you even have, they give you some in, uh, recipes food for your brew. So we got a 30 minute German beer cheese soup and then a buffalo chicken dip. And then on the back, it talks a little bit about, you know, where the beer came from, uh, about the brewery, and all that good stuff. So, inside, it's pretty cool packaging. And you get, 12 beers and you get a beer bottle opener. How cool is that? Nice and solid. So I am going to try the Proust Beer Company. It's a German style amber lager. Sweet. All right. And I will. like having a beer at work. All right, so, that's pretty good. Now let's talk about one of Shuck's new helmets. They're coming out with multiple helmets, um, but this one is, is a youth F7 LX1. It's in matte red and so the shell is matte red and the face mask is matte red and the visor is tiger's blood. Just kind of pull it all together. Looks pretty cool. So uh, some of the biggest differences between the LX1 new version and the old version of the F7 is Hi. The biggest thing to me is um, the liner on the inside is a little bit different. Um, you still get the same plate tectonics on the side, on the top, and on the back with the TPU built into it. Um, but you don't get um, the titanium face mask. You don't get the titanium face mask. You get the carbon steel face mask with it. And then the jaw pads on the inside are actually different as well. I don't know if you can see it. The F7, the one that first, the regular original F7 has the fireman's leather inside the jaw strap or the jaw pads and the new one are like, the new, the LX1 is like the A3 jaw pads. Fishing pole? Oh, the tackle box. Yeah, I don't know where it is. All right. I'm just gonna go. You saw nothing. So the jaw pads are the big thing. So I love the jaw pads in the F7. Uh, Shut did a wonderful job um, at having those extremely comfortable and simple. Right? So it's just Velcro. Velcro in and out. 
we don't. Um, these also dock with two, but they also dock with two a TPU, right? So you actually have to unscrew this in order to take it off. And these jump pads are more like a synthetic plastic. Um, so that's one of the biggest things to me. So if I was to get the LX1, I'd actually upgrade my jump pads. Um, we actually have jump pads on our website too. Um, if that's something you wanted to do, you wouldn't be able to get the, the fireman's leather, but you would be able to get um, a more comfortable jump pad. So other than that, that's pretty much the biggest things. You still get the stabilizers on the side. You get this nice bumper. I think this is the best bumper in business the rear bumper and I'll throw it on for you so you can see what it looks like oh yeah that feels good what it looks like and the other thing too is you don't get this upgraded hard chin strap you don't get this chin strap you get just a soft cloth strap but you can always upgrade your trim strap um, we have those on our website too we'll have shot uh, shock doctor and um, battle chin straps that you can upgrade to <coughs> and the visor the shock visor 1.0 we have those on our website available now and we have some new ones coming out um, soon in the next couple weeks hopefully so if you have any questions um, you can email us at info at bikingsports.com. Right. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.